Hi, my name is Melissa Macris. I have been with SBI since February of 2008. It has taken me from complete novice to the owner of my own successful local business that has grossed over a million dollars in just three and a half short years. This is my story. This is actually the second part of Melissa's story. And if you'd like to see the first half start at the beginning, you can do so by following the link right here over my left shoulder. Still here? Well, if you have a bricks and mortar business, this one is for you. Melissa has a tremendous amount to contribute. Hello, I'm Paul Buckingham, roving ambassador for Solo Build It. The quick summary of the first interview is that by following the Solo Build It action guide, Melissa was able to build a successful online business, which she sold in 2015 for 15,000 US dollars. Her and her husband were embarking on a new adventure, this time with the massage therapy business in their hometown of Blacksburg, Virginia. So the website was key in letting people know that we were a legitimate establishment and that we um, had all of these services to offer them. So it, it was huge as far as credibility. I'm not sure how we would have done it uh, had we not had the website. Instead of following the fairly common path for many brick and mortar businesses of spending either a lot of money on advertising or hoping that the internet would drive customers to their door, Melissa went back to what she knew best. She followed the Solo Build It Action Guide. Well, the nice thing about the Action Guide is it actually has a local business reference series uh, that has step-by-step -step all the things that I actually have to do to tell Google, hey, this is actually a local business site. So we want local searchers to find us instead of it being a more global presence. And we'll get an inside look at using Solo Build It to raise a local business profile right after this. If you're working with Solo Build It's unique set of tools and the action guide, there is no secret formula to online success, whether you're building an online business with a global audience or a local business. I began by asking Melissa what the difference is between creating an online business and a site that is designed to drive traffic to a new brick and mortar business. Well, you certainly need a whole lot less uh, traffic you know, for uh, a global website, you would, more traffic is better, but you know, you want at least, you know, a few thousand visitors a day or more to try to generate income because you're getting a whole lot uh, less money off of each individual visitor. With a local business, you don't need near the traffic because it's such targeted traffic. So somebody Googles for uh, Blacksburg Massage, we pop up number one, they click and they find our business and they book, well, we're making a lot more off of that. So we can get away with having a whole lot less traffic because it is so local and targeted and we make a lot more per visitor than a, a global site would. What sort of traffic would you have in a, in a month? Uh, basically around 2,000 uh, 2, visitors a month. Do you have any other source of um, clientele being driven to you by doctors, let's say, or other referrals? So early on when we first launched the business, uh, nobody really knew about us. Even though we were on Main Street in a very nice location, nobody knew. Uh, so uh, over 90% of uh, the clients that we were getting were through online. Um, they just found us online and they came to visit. Uh, now it's about, uh, we get about 55% of our uh, clients from referrals from like doctors, um, medical professionals, uh, other clients, and the other 45% are still from uh, generated from the website. So we still get a significant amount of traffic of clients coming in the door because of the website. What impact then did the, did the online presence of relaxblacksburg.com have on your credibility? Oh, it was huge. Um, you have to, you need, you need a high level of credibility for a new massage therapy clinic to establish itself. Just because there are a lot of people out there that maybe aren't qualified that are calling themselves massage therapists. And also, it's also um, it can be a front for human trafficking and prostitution. Uh, sometimes they will call themselves massage therapists when they obviously are not. So clients are very wary about going to a new establishment. So the website was key in preventing a very professional face, letting people know that we were a legitimate 
establishment establishment and that we um, had all of these services to offer them. So it, it was huge as far as credibility. I'm not sure how we would have done it uh, had we not had the website. So so what role really has Solo Build it had in, in this? Because it really sounds like it's a, a separate world to the online world that you, you first started with Approach Wellness. I always say that if it wasn't for Solo Build It, we would not have this business uh, because massage, starting a new business, a local brick and mortar business is very difficult to begin with. Um, so it just gave us a leg up on all of our competitors. We were able to establish quickly. We were able to be profitable uh, the first month. Uh, you know, Typically, uh, the standard rule of thumb is that it takes a brand new therapist about two to three years to establish enough clientele to keep them full. And uh, we've done that. We have six full-time therapists now, and it's been, well, July will be four years. So we've crushed that, that knowledge that it takes two or three years to actually build clientele because we have all these online, uh, all these visitors coming from the online world. And that's the power of solo build it is getting these clients through the door and just breaking all the standard conventions with how massage therapists build their practice. So we've talked about the Relax Blacksburg website and having about 70 visitors a day and driving traffic through the door so that you really can't take any more clients. What does this mean financially for you in terms of turnover? Uh, we had started the business uh, July 1st, 2015, and last December we had actually hit a million dollars in total revenue. And um, so for the three, almost three and a half years that we were open, starting from scratch, starting from nothing, we managed to hit that million dollar mark at a little under three and a half years. And this year coming, we're um, estimating uh, bringing in about half a million dollars. Do other practitioners in the same industry look at you and go, how are they doing that? <laughs> yes, um, uh, there are a lot of massage therapists uh, in this town because we had a very good massage school that was here for uh, almost, I think it was 15 years. So there's a ton of massage therapists around and we always would hear rumblings of them kind of complaining uh, that they, they didn't know how we uh, rose so quickly uh, in the search engines because uh, we were at number two, I believe it took about six months for us to get the number two spot. And then it took, I think it was another six months or longer to get that number one spot. So we'd always hear grumblings of them wondering exactly how we were doing it. And I always just think that, yeah, we left them in the dust uh, is how I say it and the scratching their heads because they're not quite sure how we, how we managed to suppress uh, all of the competition and, and uh, land at the top so quickly. Do they ever try and copy your approach? I've seen a few of them try. Like I said, they just get the generic Wix website or they'll just open up, you know, just a very inexpensive or a free website. And I think they expect uh, the visitors to just come in and it's just not quite that simple. It's interesting because especially having come from the experience of a bricks and mortar business as you have, nobody would give you a free building or say, you know, put on credit card and say, here you are, you're going to have success in two months or a month or whatever. And yet it's done all the time with online businesses. Is that a common trap that beginners fall into? I think it's sometimes harder to take it as serious as you would an actual brick and mortar business because there's not the initial outlay of all of this expense to find a property or to lease and to purchase all of these things that you would need for an actual brick and mortar business. It's all virtual. So it's, a, I can, at least for me, it was a little bit hard to get into the mindset that we are creating a business even though you are, if you have just an online only presence, you are creating a business. It's just a little more abstract, I believe. So let's look at the nuts and bolts of the site and, and how it is that you're being found so effectively. Are you just writing Blacksburg a lot more than everyone else? <laughs> well, it is a lot more than that, but certainly you want to let Google know that you are a local business. So you need to have uh, the city that you're in as well as surrounding cities uh, as part of the keywords. Um, if you search locally for Massage Blacksburg, Blacksburg Massage, or Black or Massage Near Me, uh, our site does come up number one. We've been number one for quite a long time now. Um, and so there are a lot of local cues that you have to put in both uh, the, the, um, the code as well as on the page to let the search engines know that it is a local search. 
um, as opposed to a global search because it doesn't do us much good to be getting um, people from either out of state or out of the country coming to see the website. As you know, Solo Build It has Brainstorm, which is a really powerful tool for creating and giving you a good idea of the keywords that people are searching for globally. How relevant has that been for you locally? It's a lot less involved um, because, but I actually, before we even started the website, I did uh, do a small brainstorm it for Massage like Blacksburg, like our local city. And it actually had enough um, hits where it, it gave us statistics on that keyword and very uh, similar related keywords. So I, I knew that there was enough demand to actually justify uh, having enough clients, having enough visitors come to the site to justify um, the business and to actually get them in the door. Did you find that you only worked with those local keywords or did you still use some of those organic um, larger keywords you might have, which might have been massage therapy or, or whatever. Yeah, I still do have some generic keywords in there, um, and I do get traffic from them, uh, like massage draping, for instance. We're number one actually on a global search, uh, which I didn't expect. So we do occasionally get traffic from that, but again, that's not really what our target is um, because it, it's we're trying to get people in the door. It seems to me that whether you're talking about ranking well for a online business with a global audience or providing an online presence that drives traffic to a local business like you have, the principles are, are much the same. Quality content. Correct. And I should mention too uh, that we did initially advertise using Google ads and an occasional Facebook ad. Uh, but as the business grew, uh, we completely stopped any kind of paid advertising. So we have zero dollars every year that we actually uh, put out in paid advertising. It's all organic search finding us.